everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be finally my Air Tycoon 4 series. Now uh, the reason why I haven't actually been uploading is uh, if you saw my uh, two me mo most recent uh, videos before this one, uh, in them I was uh, I was ill, uh, so the Avro Volk unboxing and that airport update. Um, yeah, I was uh, I was ill. Uh, I was ill on Friday, that's why there's no videos up there. Um, and um, yeah, I decided to try and put up two videos, but um, <clears throat> I am still uh, slightly ill now. I'm still kind of kind of recovering, but I don't really have a headache whatsoever or or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, so I decided that uh, I can get back into recording now. So yeah, um, I'll go. Uh, I'll start. I'll try and go back to daily air talking for it. Might not be uh, just because I am still recovering, but. Um, yeah, uh, once I do uh, fully recover, then I will go back to Daily Air Tycoon 4. That's when you'll know that I, uh, I completely, uh, when I have completely healed up. So, uh, yeah, I can't remember what we were doing last episode since it was a while ago. I need to turn my sound down. That's uh, one thing. Um, got some planes to be order any? Um, nope, we didn't. Uh, oh yeah, we um we set up that route. This uh the uh, the C919. Uh, if that's what you say. Oh, I hope it is anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it has the weirdest cockpit of a place. <laughs> it looks like something I would draw, but... <clears throat> Nonetheless, uh, it has good range and things like that, so... Yeah, it was, uh, it was the best plane to use on the route from London to Munich, so... Yeah, I think that um, I'm just going to be checking my uh, investment... Um, <clears throat> And uh, everything in my airline at the moment. Should I put up my salaries? Um, what would that do? Uh, that's fifty thousand. That's forty-six uh, million. Even that was fifty million. That's forty-six million. Um, no, I'm gonna leave it just to be safe. Uh, so, um, can I go anywhere? Uh, in Europe, I just want to see if I can go to uh, any other places. Um, I I can uh, I can get uh, a lot more passengers uh, travelling, <clears throat> cheaper or something like that. Um, oh my God, Rome! I didn't realise how popular that was. <laughs> Good grief! So yeah, you know, I'll hold the plane. Uh, I'll just pause it uh, while I get it, uh, so then it doesn't freeze on me. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once I have got it. So I decided to get the uh, C919 uh, to go onto the route to Rome, because uh, uh, I did it going to Munich, and uh, the uh, the route is... Uh, how much longer is it? Um, going to Munich is 270 miles, 892, eh, a few hundred miles further. But uh, yeah, it seemed uh, suitable enough, uh, so I got it. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll just uh, we'll just have to fast forward two turns. Uh, so we go to uh, I think we'll have it delivered in November. Uh, I think it will be. Uh, yep, it will be uh, since it's September now. Ninety six million in profits. Um, that's quite good. Uh, since the last episode or whenever I got the highest profits, um, I have a different uh, I have a different airline that um that I use um well not use but a different airline that I play on. And uh, that is uh, that actually. Uh, I actually got uh, more profits on that. Uh, now I frequently make. Uh, well, I don't usually dip under about uh, 140, 130 million in profits. The highest I got was 243 million. So that's the uh, the profit to beat. Um, also, the uh, max amount of passengers I had uh, increased was about two hundred and seven thousand or something like that. Something along those lines, but yeah, uh, yeah, I've definitely beaten the uh, the records that I had originally for this uh, or in in this airline. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter. And I found out the reason why uh, I wasn't actually making as much profit as I could. It's just because I don't have that many uh, that many routes. I've been closing a lot of my long haul routes, uh, which is the reason. Uh, this is this uh, this airline is more of an airline like um, Laker Airways. Uh, if you don't know, Laker Airways it was set up by Sir Freddie Laker. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's in the same. Uh, it went bankrupt in the eighties, I think nineteen eighty four, nineteen eighty five, maybe even eighty six. Um, but uh, no, I don't think it was eighty six actually. But uh, yeah, it went bankrupt because uh, the airlines. Uh, 
starting to see him as a threat because he was starting to uh, get a um, starting to get uh, his airline to um, you know, he's getting a lot more passengers, a lot more income uh, or profit uh, into his airline and uh, the big airlines like Pan Am, British Airways, uh, TWA, uh, American Airlines, and all all the big ones at the t- at the time uh, like Pan Am, TWA they don't exist anymore, but all of those they. They all put their, all like Air France and things like that, they all put their prices up uh, because, uh, all, all on his long haul routes because uh, they tried to, for- they all ganged up on him basically and they forced him out of competition. Uh, but with this, I haven't got any competition, so <laughs> yeah, I should be fine. Uh, for that, so uh, I want to kind of keep it as uh, as an airline like that. I don't want to go uh, too massive. I don't want to go uh, into making as many profits as I do on the uh, on the other airline that I have. Um, I kind of like it as a uh, as an airline that does make that does make about a hundred million, but I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want it to make uh, any more than that. What I want to do with the airline right now is uh, I just want to uh, set up a few more routes here and there, maybe close a few, because um, uh, they run out of because uh, they run out of their uh, lifespan, or the planes that are on the routes run out of their lifespan. Uh, so, yeah, I do. So, uh, any, uh, so otherwise, I just don't. I don't think that um, I would need to uh, phase out uh, any of my fleet. Um, uh, I don't actually. I don't actually think I have to phase out any of my fleet uh, to do that. Um, all to, uh, to, because uh, some of the, because uh, not all of the planes actually uh, have the lifespan run out, running out at the moment. Um, I think the 737 600 are going to be renovated, I've just seen. They're uh, going to Paris, so uh, yes it can, by quite it. Uh, you're 53 inches, can you go down? Um, phew, you don't really care. Um, 33, 32? Um, no, that affects it quite greatly. Um, can I do a 53? 94, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I like it. that can stay like it was. Whatever. So, um, yeah. I'll just run away that then. Uh, what else can I do? Can I do anything else? Um, 7 8. Um, 96%. Ugh, reef above. That has a lot of pa- uh, I was going to say a lot of passengers. That has a lot of um, satisfaction on it uh, compared to some of my other planes. Anyway, um, uh, I didn't even mean to click on this and make some industries, but I'll look at it anyway. Uh, they're doing fine, and uh, around ninety percent. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, I was meant to click on my triple sevens. Uh, I've got two, thirty-eight uh, percent. Oh God! I'm just going to sort that out. Um, uh, I'll just go sort out the uh, the uh, satisfaction on that, and just make sure that it is it is the highest it can be. Uh, I'm not actually gonna um I'm actually just gonna move this. Uh, I want this to be um there. Yeah. So it's um so uh, can you see it's um what it does? Uh, it's got um. I'm just going back and forth. Uh, the uh, first class, the seats appear. I want to go to the lowest point. Uh, where they are, which was there. They can go up to 52 inches, so uh, that's fine. Uh, these can go up to 32? Yeah, they can. And the other ones were meant to be 52. And uh, they can go also go up to that. Uh, so I'll just put this down. Like that, I'll just renovate that. Uh, so a few changes, but mainly just uh, getting the satisfaction, because uh, you can just go on there and just renovate it, uh, even if you don't change anything, and the satisfaction goes higher. I'm glad I found that out. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, do we have to do anything else? Uh, 767 or 400? Uh, 31%. Uh, yeah, that will need uh, doing, uh, I should think. Uh, oh, I didn't actually tap on it. I thought it was just, I thought it froze and I was about to say, oh god, no. Um, <laughs> for some reason, the uh, the engines on the 767-400, they're really skew-whiff and they seem quite small. Um... I don't think they're going to be that small. I think they're going to be slightly bigger because I know they are smaller than the other variants. But I don't think they're going to be that skew worth. Can you see? Can you see that? Look how much they're poking up. Good grief! Right, I should renovate it anyway. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing I did with my triple uh, seven, like that. Uh, is this uh, seventy-two? Yes, it is. That's at fifty-three. Um. I'll just put that down, that's a 32, that can stay like that. I'll uh, renovate this plane then. Uh, so, uh, just a few quick renovations, and I still remember that route to set up, by the way. You don't think I've forgotten about it. 
Uh, so, um, what was I going to look at? Uh, Sim 6, 7, 200s, because uh, that's our medium haul fleet. And uh, all these are all under, uh, these are all under 60%, uh, so I'll have to do that. Um, uh, oh no, that's not going to do it. What I found out is, uh, we're on the renovation, um, if, uh, if, uh, if the cost of renovation seems too low, then I'll go off of it and uh, then go back on. So uh, if you saw the, or if you didn't see, uh, I said seven million. Uh, so if it's more that more now, then I'll know that that's uh, more, uh, that's all of them. Yep, that's fifty million. So that means that this will uh, that this uh, that this is uh, for all of them uh like that uh, so just do that so thirty two inches and this is at th also thirty two inches. Uh, what did I have at first class? So I had a like 74 or something. Uh, what does that put it up to? Um, nothing! Great! Um, um, yeah, because I know it was one of them 54%, so not much of an increase, but I guess better than nothing. Yeah, seven planes. Uh, that's good, so. Uh, yep, I will uh, check the other planes. How am I 737900s doing? I hope they're doing all right. Uh, ooh, they're starting to slip downhill a little bit. I'll just fix those up. Make sure they're doing all right. Uh, 155 million. Good grief. Good grief. Uh, 52 inches. Yep. And uh, 32 inches. Yep. And uh, that. Um, was that more? I don't know. I uh, didn't make any changes. I just wanted to do that. Uh, oh yeah, that actually uh, had some more seats. That's pretty good. Uh, so 69%, 69.7%, that is pretty good. How many planes did that do? Uh, 13 and all of them. Didn't think it would do all of them. Uh, where did it go up to? Uh, oh yeah, just up to uh, 60%. And then that just goes down to 69. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, I think I'll leave the renovation for there, yeah. Right, let's just actually set up this with the Comac uh, C919 uh, then. Uh, since uh, I did actually get that this episode, and I should have set it up earlier, but I got a little bit carried away with the renovation. Well, whatever, we'll uh, just set it up now. So, uh, I don't know how many slots we have at Heathrow. This is just a massive graphic glitch, graphics glitch there. Uh, we have um, we have one slot at Heathrow, and I'm gathering that we need 20. Because um, uh, uh, when, uh, when, when it says uh, at the start of the game in the tutorial, it says... Uh, we're just going to send you up to Rome, and uh, it's 20 slots exactly. I'm going to Rome, I think, so uh, I'll just uh, request 19, since we already have that last slot. Uh, and uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, just request in Rome. That actually has more than Heathrow does, I think. Uh, 3351 and 493. This has um, 351 and 479. Oh, no. it's, uh, it's similar, not quite, but similar. Uh, so uh, I'll just request, uh, I'll request, sorry, uh, these uh, these 20 slots and we can set up the route going to there. But uh, that tutorial was set in the 1960s and that was with the 707, uh, so I don't exactly know uh, if the speed is uh, the same. I think the 707 was uh, slower. Uh, I think it was Mac point, uh, 0.7. Uh, so uh, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll just have a look at the Comac C919. Um, I'll just see how fast that goes. Um, uh, passengers. I don't know why that was on cargo. Uh, do, 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 C919. Uh, that goes at uh, Mac 0.68. So it's slightly slower. But uh, yeah, hopefully it will be uh, the same amount of slots. Uh, so uh, I'll just set up this uh, route then. Uh, estimated time of 1 hour and 52 minutes. Uh, it's exactly 20 slots, like I predicted it. Uh, and uh, we'll put it at 1.30. Uh, the price, that is. Uh, like that is. And uh, so we'll just uh, put that up. Not that much. Just down to there. Uh, so uh, we will just uh, we'll then put that onto the duty free, the headsets, the newspaper, the magazine, and that will do it. Uh, will the uh, vegetarian milk get it? Yes, it will. Uh, and uh, we will just open up the room. Like that. So uh, at least we'll be getting uh, a little bit more uh, people travelling now. And uh, oh, in Napoli, that's got uh, quite a f that's got 361 uh, tourism. 
uh, which is uh, which is pretty good. And uh, Pascara, oh, that's got 200 in each. Uh, Nieces, oh, that's got... S <laughs> Oh, well, oh, look at all these places. Oh, not there. Uh, not there. And Florence, no. Milan. Oh, God, yeah. Venice, oh, God. <laughs> wow, I should have been going to these places before. Valencia, yeah. Um, Mercia, maybe. Malaga, yeah. Lisbon, yes. Porto, yeah. Yeah, I think I get the point. Madrid, oh, God. I get the point. I could go to there. Um, but, uh, yeah, 15 minutes into the episode, good god. Um, I was, uh, I was talking about with Homish Studios, uh, who I, I, I'm on his survival series, if you didn't know. Um, uh, cause, uh, I, uh, I remember, uh, in the, uh, the most recent episode, I think, we were talking about, um, uh, yeah, we were talking about, uh, this series. Uh, in it, and uh, that we just uh, that you just get carried away uh, when you're recording. Uh, you just get carried away with everything, and then you just look at the time uh, on the video, and then you just see that you've been recording for ages. And uh, that's what's happened in this case. So, um, I think I'll just finish some renovation. Uh, I'll just have a look at uh, all of my aircraft. Uh, just make sure that nothing's tickety boo. Seven five seven seventy percent. Can that be increased? Let's have a look. I doubt it will, but yeah, like I said, I could I could be wrong. Uh, yes, I can. Have a little bit, but um, but this is still an increase nonetheless. Uh, so thirty-two. Uh, let me find them. Uh, should I put first class? Originally, I didn't want first class because um, you know, the seven five seven didn't have it, but I found out it does. Um. <laughs> Uh, so I need that. Uh, no, that's in fact less. Let's put that down then. Uh, uh, oh no, not all the way down. Uh, up to... There. Uh, so that'll just put that up to 79% then. Uh, so we can just uh, get 2% uh, uh, more. And that's only 78 Whatever. Uh, that was only 2% only more then. And to, uh, to go on to this... Um, well, to go onto that route to the Canary Islands, seven six seven two hundreds we just did seven three seven uh triple seven two hundreds and seven six seven four hundreds we did seven eight seven dash threes we also just looked at uh, dash eights. Uh, how are we doing for that? Forty eight percent. Um, yeah. Uh, I think uh, let's just have a look at the other planes. Eighty twenty Neo. Let's have a look at those. I was going to see how to look at, let's have a look at that, but we have three of them. Uh, 66%, um, hmm. I think we're doing alright, I guess. Uh, 8350, uh, 91%, yeah, that's fine. Uh, 8380, uh, for, oh yeah, oh, they need to be uh, phased out uh, pretty soon. Uh, or the, uh, or one of them does. Concord, how's good old trusty Concord doing? 55%, uh, can we increase that? Uh, so... Uh, uh, no, we can't. Uh, 50, oh, let's go to 58% then. Uh, with, uh, 33 uh, inches on there. We'll give, uh, passengers, uh, more endorsements, um, <laughs> while flying on this, uh, beautiful plane. Uh, so, I'll increase that by 3%. Uh, Dash 8200, can we do anything with that? Uh, 75%. Yeah, let's give it a crack. I'll just give it one little crack. Um, well, maybe two, I don't know. Um, hang on, what was that? Uh, that was 75%. And this is 75%. Um, yeah, that's at full uh, capacity. And that, that's not going to change it in the slightest. Uh, so that's, uh, that's completely maxed out, uh, I guess you could call it. So, uh, the, um, the Sukhoi Superjet, uh, 100. Uh, that uh, may need it. 53%. Uh, 57. Yeah. We'll change it then, said the little boy. Um, <laughs> I don't know if little boys say that. I was going to say, but I am a little boy. I'm not. Nearly 13. Um, <laughs> so. Right. Um, do I need this? Um, do I need this? What am I on about? Um, <laughs> 
I was thinking, do I need to renovate uh, the other planes? Uh, C919, we just had a look at, the, look at them earlier. The Embraer E915? Uh, yep, that'll need doing. And uh, then after that, I think we will, uh, I think we'll end up the episode. Uh, so, uh, hang on, what was it? <laughs> it was 40-something, 40, 40 47. 47%. There's only got 20 months left on it. Oh no, that was a renovation. <laughs> I'm getting carried away! Stop worrying. <laughs> um... <laughs> That was 51% then. The, Embra uh, the Embraer Regis, they have pretty much nothing on them, uh, satisfaction-wise. Uh, that, that's what that's why I haven't been getting them. Uh, if you don't know, uh, when I'm looking at planes, I'm also looking at the satisfaction that they have on them. If they don't have a high satisfaction, then what's the point in getting them? Because then you won't have many passengers travelling with you. Uh, otherwise, unless you just want the uh, unless you just want the Embraer E nine one five because you like them. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, I am a fan of uh, Fokker aircraft, and um, I have got so much of the Fokker seventy and Fokker one hundred in the short haul fleet uh, of the airline that I have on it. Like, the same airline that keep on talking about. I'm not going to say because <laughs> there's no point. You'll you'll, uh, you'll never see her. you'll never see it anyway. We might do. I don't know. We just close that. Um, but. Yeah, we, uh, but on there I have the Fox 70, Fox 100, uh, I have the F-28 as well, uh, I also have the BAE 146 uh, on there, because uh, British aircraft as well, uh, as you know, uh, that's uh, that's even better than Dutch aircraft, but Dutch aircraft uh, for me comes after uh, uh, all of our ones, uh, yeah, all the Fokker aircraft. Is uh is uh, the plane that I uh, is are uh, the planes that I like most, and then um and then after that um I don't know what it, I think Airbus ones yeah, but then uh, after that the last ones uh the, my least favourites are like McDonnell Douglas and Boeing because they're Americans and we're against them and they're yeah, Americans um <laughs> I'm sorry for American no need to offend you it's just my personal preferences so yeah I think I'll just end it up for this episode. Uh, even if, uh, even if, uh, even though I was actually talking about my preferences of aircraft, but <laughs> whatever. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you for taking time out of your day to choose my channel and click on this video. I hope you watched it just for length. Hope you did. Um, also, fun fact by the way, my dad used to travel from Aberdeen to Stavanger um, when he worked uh, on some oil rigs uh, in the uh, Norwegian Sea, North Sea. He used to work. Uh, there and uh, he was uh, he lived in Aberdeen, uh, I think he lived in Aberdeen, or at least near there. And uh, Stavanger, uh, there was a helicopter that went to Stavanger, and then he got a flight from Stavanger to Aberdeen. Um, uh, I could set up a route there. I'll, uh, I'll tell him that I could do that route if I wanted. So uh, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you decide to enjoy that one as well, bye.